people doing? Welcome back. Those who are new to the channel, welcome. Glad you can join us. Bit of a two lane episode today. A little uh, special, if you will. So, those who have been following along will know we got a cat project underway. And we're at the point now where we need to pull the liners out. Now, we did try it with a previously made adapter, uh, liner puller, sorry. Uh, it's not quite working out as we would like. So, in this episode, we're hopefully going to come up with a bit of a different idea that's going to allow us to pull these out in one. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So the idea is, this is our block, we're going to make a framework, so we'll set a bit of plate here and here, and we'll make a bit of framework that basically comes up over the top like so. And there's gonna be a bit of bit of bracing on it. And then we'll put a bit of plate on the top as well, like that, with a hole in. And then the idea then is we can bridge either side of the liner and we'll have a bit of all thread then coming down through <coughs> to that puck underneath with a nut on. And then we sh hopefully we can uh, turn this up here. So we're going to drop this down. So we were originally using, or the, the puller we did try using had 40 mil bar. We're going to drop it down to 30 mil because well, I think 40 is a bit excessive. And I've got a socket that will fit on the the nut for this 30 mil old thread. So hopefully we can get a ratchet on this, which will make life a lot easier. We may have to get him back on it, we'll see. So the only critical dimensions on this really is between there, we need to make sure they are wider than obviously the liner. And the other one then is the height from the uh, the face of the block to the top of this. If we can get that to be nine inches, hopefully we can pull these liners out in one swoop without having to stop and adjust and put more pack in under these feet. So that's the idea. Whether it works in principle, we'll find out.
we've got all the steel cut uh, for the liner puller we've cropped the corners off in the right orientation uh, to fit into the H section and that'll fit up snugly against the side um, we've used bits of scrap that we had hanging around and we're also going to use some C section which the uprights will fit into and we've basically done that to minimise warping with flat plate and also <laughs> it was all we had lying about yeah. so <laughs> cleaned everything up as the best te technical reason is to minimise warping when we weld this hopefully this will stay a little bit flatter than if we were to use just some uh, flat plate because this is this is the part that's going to be sat on the head so we want it as flat as possible but as dad just said the real reason is that's what we had laying around <laughs> yeah. waste not want not okay so i think what we'll do next um, or first i should say before we weld all this together is we need to punch a hole through this so we need a 30 mil hole straight through the middle of this and also through the middle of this plate so the idea is, because this is, I say it's quite thin, that's probably more than ample for what we need. But considering we had this plate as well, I think we're going to drop that in there to double it up. And we'll put a 30mm hole straight through the centre of the lot, and that's where our drawbar or old thread will drop through. Some new gloves. Look at these beauties. Big thank you to Curtis and Karen for shipping these out all the way from Australia. To make you well better. <laughs> yeah, I was just about to say the main difference between me wearing these versus Curtis wearing these is the fact that he can actually weld. Hello. I'm confident. Good job, Bonnie. <laughs> well, that's not going to work, is it? <laughs> you are. <laughs> Spot the problem. Huh? Doesn't come far forward enough. Far forward enough. We're going to have to come in on another angle then. You're going to have to come in off you. And we? Will it set the nails are too yeah. wide? Should do. Bit of movement there, wasn't it, originally? Yeah, but, but to be expected, but they're only hanging on by well, less than half. Probably not a probably not a bad thing actually, because uh, that rotor brooch cutter is actually 30 mil, which is the exact diameter of the bar we're using. So mm. a little bit of wobble there. So uh, we just packed it in for clearance as well. <laughs> I've had that rotor brooch for years, for just this occasion. See if the bar fits through now. Mm. <laughs> Are we off for size? Fits like a glove. Beautiful. Yeah. 
I'll be right. Wait, I guess that's that, man. Weld it all together. Well, I don't think the local welder's got anything to worry about, but we've got it all held together, and that should be plenty strong enough for what we're going to need out of it. That should work just nicely. Are we looking at any rock in it? Negligible. Minimal. Minimal. That's good then. Okay, so to put our artistic drawing we did earlier into reality, this is how it'll work. So this will straddle the cylinder, as you can see. That 
a bit of old thread with a nut welder on top and we'll drop down through. Like so, that'll all be centered up to the cylinder. We've got this steel pack then that's machined to fit the liner. That'll be put in from underneath and held in place with another nut on the bottom. So then with that in place, we'll be able to turn this nut up here and in theory, it'll draw the liner out to the cylinder, or out to the block, I should say. The only thing we have got to get is, this is the only bit we have utilised off the previous puller that we were trying to use, and that was made for a 40 mil bar, so that hole there is a little bit big. So I'm gonna get a bush in that will fit that before we use it, uh, just to keep this new 30 mil bar centered. So I'm hoping if they're not too tight, we'll crack them off first, the socket and a ratchet. And I'm hoping we may be able to get an impact gun on these and draw them out. But, if you want to see this thing in action, <laughs> you're going to have to check out the video or the next video we do on this machine. And I shall link that down in the description. As always guys, Thank you for watching. See you on Appreciate the, next the support. One. And we'll see you on the next one.